Yo guys, the main man here, double H, half to the hope, half to the hope, half to the hope, trying to make it real. And so, football news, you hear football news, here we go. This is the daily show where we pretty much break down the most pressing news happening in the football world. Conte, you can't escape it. That is the hottest topic right now. Chelsea is this furnace that are bringing in all of these butterflies that want to try and lay an egg. And, um... Chelsea, they got beat for one by Watford a few days earlier. They got beat by Bournemouth three zero at home. They now have to go up and face a Barcelona side who are unbeaten in La Liga. And Conte has come out and he has said, "I quote that he is not worried about his future." But that's not really what I want to really focus on. The, the thing that really gets me is when he says that he um, his conscience is clear. And in my opinion, by him saying that, it definitely means that there's something deeper. By him saying that, you know what, my conscience is clear. That definitely sounds like someone that says, I'm going to get sacked. But even if I get sacked, it wasn't my fault. I did all that I, that, that I could. That's the issue is not with me. The issue is with those guys. Is this, this, I, I am not a result or the cause of me of my sacking. The cause of my sacking are for issues and forces beyond my control that is what that statement means of my conscience is clear so again we'll see what will happen we'll see how things will unfold but it ain't pretty up at chelsea right now um you do expect conti to get the sacking and look man um you bring do you bring in hiddick do you bring in ancelotti um because what in my opinion in my view what has to happen this has to happen if Chelsea, because first of all, bring it any 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 anybody with the players that Chelsea don't stand a chance against Barcelona. But even if if they actually want to make the match even relevant, even relevant, Conte has to be sacked before Chelsea face Barcelona. Under no circumstance can Chelsea face Barcelona. Under no circumstance. Um, and also, just on a little side note, you know, um, so Bakayoko has been targeted by a lot of Chelsea fans, by a lot of racial abuse towards him. You know, um, calling him no nigger this, nigger, nigger that, and so forth, based on his bad performance out there. And I just find that interesting because what's funny though is that those fans that are racist towards him, you do know that Bakyoko is richer than you. You do know that he has more money to, to pretty much buy your entire family 10 times over. And you do know that what he earns in a year, you won't sniff in a decade. So by you saying that, how should that affect him? Just. It points in, in reference. And also, you have to be a moron to say Bakayoko is the reason why Chelsea are doing so badly. That there aren't greater issues beyond just one player. Because in the match I saw, um, Chelsea were playing crap before Bak uh, before Bakayoko got sent off. And the entire, entire team was, was garbage. Kale, Luis, did you see they are defending? I digress. Um... Breaking news here. Well, sort of not really breaking news, but it happened earlier on today. Ronald Koeman has been announced as the new manager of Holland, the new Dutch manager. Um, this is good. Does this mean Holland will get back to greatness? Not necessarily. So that's twofold. It's a good acquisition. Koeman is a very good coach and manager. It doesn't always work at Ancelotti is a, is, a, is a great coach, didn't work at, at, at Bayern. Mourinho is a great manager, didn't work at his last season with, with Chelsea. Um, so Kuman is, is a really great, great, great manager, great coach. It obviously did not work out for him in that in this season with um, Everton earlier on. So, but I do feel that he can bring back the Holland we know. But that's going to be dependent upon who, what's in the youth system because they've got to start from zero, reset. And pretty much start from the bottom ground. And I keep saying this, you know, the best model to copy is that Germany model. Germany were like 2004, we, we flopped. You know, we weren't really popping off. So they said, you know what, we're going to start from ground zero. So from 2006 was the beginning of a product that led to them winning the World Cup in 2014 after a 2010 semi-final, 2008 final, 2010 
um, final, 2012 semi final. So, so yeah, 2010 semi final and so forth. By 2014, they won, won it in the end. So, so I am confident with what Kumana can do with Holland, but again, you can't have Janssen as your striker. That's all I'm saying. Um, West Ham are looking to get Patrice Evra as a free agent. You know, so Evra is now a free agent as of right now. So West Ham are now considering trying to bring him in. And I do believe, even if it's not, even if the, the transfer deadline of January has passed, I still think that you can still acquire and bring in a free agent to play as of right now. Um, because again, you will know what happened with um, your boy um, Evra in France. Judo kick, bye bye, some fool. Um, I. For me, I love Ever as a guy. His Monday motivation vids are bloody amazing. He has an incredible character. But I do believe that um, it's... Uh, I don't know how much he can help West Ham. Especially, and I, I, don't, I don't think he's maybe the right guy for this West Ham team. His quality, and I do believe that him coming in there will be better than a lot of players because he's still the quality. But I think he may be too old. And I don't think that that is what West Ham need to try and make sure they stay off relegation. Um, I don't think he's really the guy to go for. Um, Thibaut Couture, this is this this is interesting, but I'm not surprised by this. Couture, he is still there is still um, uneasiness around his contract with Chelsea, <laughs> especially with how Chelsea have been playing. Trust me, that's going to be even a lot more uneasy. And he has not ruled out a return to Madrid, but I saw the headline: Couture doesn't um, rule out a return to Madrid, and I just assumed it was Atletico Madrid. Dug it a bit deeper, and I saw a few lines. Real Madrid popped up. Now, here and there, here wants to sniff Real Madrid, but saying Coutinho is not looking for Real Madrid. And again, either one of those keepers would be great. I think it's unfortunate like Navas is being mistreated like this because I do believe that he's a decent keeper. But I'm not gonna gonna lie. This 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 is big big boy football now, and both Coutinho and De Gea are far superior keepers to Kilo Navas. Um, so if Real Madrid can get their paws on Couture, that would be huge. Chelsea, as of right now, you are in no position to um, offer any arguments to keep Couture and stop him from joining Real Madrid or even Atletico. Because last I checked, Atletico as a second in the La, La, La Liga. Real are trying to fight for top four. Um, and if I was Couture, my gosh, you take the deal because this Chelsea thing... I don't look. I don't, the ship may not sink. You know, Abramovich may just write this wrong because remember, Abramovich Mourinho, we thought it was all going down. Then he brought in content and look at what happened. So you're going to do, 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 do that's my boy Roman. But as of right now, I if I was advising coach, I say, bro, you know, look, look at that Real Atletico team. And finally, um, the diving issue. Um, so this has really been an issue that people are still talk, talking about. Um, did Harry Kane dive? Is there a diving culture? Was this and, and on so forth? And really, this is really my main thing on this. Um, Harry Kane dived. 100%. But what he did is not different from what any other striker does. Don't, or because Kane is England's golden boy, doesn't mean he's a fairy and a saint. Okay? Football is not a game played by saints and lovely, honest men. No. It's, it's, it's about winning. And sometimes you have to bend the rules to, to win. And the strikers that go down and try and cleverly win a penalty, it's, it's a, they, they bend the rules. But so every top striker knows that once you feel the contact, you motion in your body to go over. So you go over as the as the goalkeeper's hands are coming out and you know that referee is going to blow that flipping whistle because you know he has to. Based on how quickly the game is moving, where the referee will be standing, based on the motion of the game, you know that the referee, he sees that, and you and you time the dive over when 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 the keeper makes that contact, you know that the referee nine times out of ten is going to give that penalty. That's what 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 what, what Kane did. But what I'm saying is that he shouldn't be hit for it because it's part of the game. It's what every striker is taught to to do. It's you you don't, you don't even think you don't even do it consciously. It literally comes second nature to you. And um, so Liverpool definitely, I get their beef. You're like, man, you know this is how can you do this? But at the same time, it's for both. Kane didn't do anything that was out of the ordinary because there are dives that are out of the ordinary. You know, there are dives where you clearly try to con the referee and that is just a blatant dive that just blatant cheating. But there are other dives that have sort of seeped their way into, into their game and they're almost normal. And even as a keeper, I will know that 
I make any sort of contact, I know what the strap is going to do and I can't even hate about it. Obviously, I'll haul and go up and down, but in my mind, I'm like, look, man, it is what it is because I know the strap is going to do this. As opposed to another one which is far more blatant and far more obvious. I was like, yo, whoa. So again, people saying Kane is honest and he's not a diver. Shut the hell up. He is, he is a diver just like every other strike. And what he does is no different from anyone. But at the same time, he shouldn't be hated for it. He is not doing anything that Aguero doesn't do, Cannibal Suarez doesn't do, even Lewandowski doesn't do, even Obama doesn't do, Obama and Lewandowski, the Cannibal, Aguero. All these guys in that situation, Cavani, in that situation would do the same thing. All of them would do the exact same thing as Kane did. So guys, that's it for this edition of Football News. Catch me again tomorrow for more Football News. Peace out, stay true. Remember to subscribe. Peace. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half a football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.